I think we should look at the history of religion and be fascinated by it, just as we look at the history of art and so on. Uh, but I, I don't think that religion has anything useful to teach us. One of the main reasons why people are religious is because they're persuaded by the apparent design of living things. And that's completely destroyed by, by Darwin. If you actually read any book by a biologist about evolution, it's hard to see how you could fail to be persuaded of it. it, it it's, I mean, the evidence is, is just absolutely pat. There's no, there's, no, there's no doubt about it. It's not a controversial issue. It's, it's completely certain. It's as certain as the fact that the Earth and the other planets orbit the Sun. More than 40% of the American population, if opinion polls are to be believed, uh, think that the world is less than 10,000 years old. And uh, that's, a, uh, that's a shocking figure. Um, it shows uh, deep, profound ignorance. It sounds very laudable to, to, uh, to teach the controversy, to teach both theories, but there aren't two theories. There's only one theory around. There's only one, one game in town as far as serious science is concerned. Of course, you get negative reactions from creationists, but who cares about creationists? They don't know anything. I think it was my father who first introduced me to uh, to Darwinian evolution. I was immensely moved by it and it did start a roller coaster in a way and then I started to become uh, really quite anti-religious after that. I went through a sort of middle ground of what you might call deism. I think I gave up Christianity before I finally gave up the idea of a, a sort of creative designer of some kind. Darwin made it possible to be an intellectually fulfilled atheist. Before that, you could be an atheist, Hume was, for example, but it was quite difficult because you had no good explanation for why uh, living things look so well designed. Darwin provided that. There are other reasons for being religious, uh, like moral reasons, or, or people sometimes feel they have a personal relationship with God or with Jesus or with Muhammad or whatever it is. Um, and th that kind of reason for being religious would not in itself be undermined by Darwinism but um, it's quite wrong to believe that science reduces humanity, that science somehow gives you a bleak, cold, empty, uh, barren view of the, of the universe and of life. Quite the contrary, science is enriching and fulfilling. What's going to happen when I die? If I met God it, it, in the unlikely event after I died, I think the first thing I'd say is, well, which one are you? Are you Zeus? Are you Thor? Are you Baal? Are you Mithras? Are you Yahweh? Uh, which god are you? Um, and uh, why did you take such great pains to conceal yourself and to hide away from us? <laughs>